dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to prove this proposition that if my xn is a convergent sequence, then every subsequence is also convergent and they both converges to the same point. The result is actually trivial. We are going to see the easy proof of it. Before we start the proof, we will talk about a subsequence of a sequence. So suppose if I have a sequence xn, that means the term of the sequence would be like x1, x2, x3 and so on, right? This is my sequence. The, any subsequence of it, we have denoted that subsequence by x, n, k. We'll have the term looking like x, n, 1, x, n, 2, x, n, 3 and so on. From a sequence, how we create a subsequence? What we do is, randomly, we choose an element from a sequence. For an example, suppose I choose x2. This becomes my first place. Now, for the second place, I choose any element which is after this x2. For an example, suppose if I choose x10, this could be my second element over here. The third element could be on somewhere else on this list. So, what we do is, while creating a subsequence, we consider this indices to be in an increasing order. That means my n1 is strictly less than n2 and this is strictly less than n3. Right? And so on, this goes on. And what we observe is, suppose if I consider xn1, then in that case, this n1, this value of n1 could be equal to 1 or it would be something greater than 1. Similarly, this value of n2 can be equal to 2 or it would be something about 2. So, it is 2 less than equal. Similarly, if we keep on going, what we observe is, in this case, suppose if I uh, n i, then this n i would be greater than or equal to ith place. So, suppose if I consider all of them to be equal, that means n1 is equal to 1, n2 is equal to 2, dot, 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 n i is equal to i, then that subsequence becomes itself, that sequence. So, for any other subsequence of it, this condition is going to be true. Okay. So, because we are going to use this result, so I just gave you an indirect proof of induction. But now this comes to the result. Every subsequence is convergent and converges to the same point. What we know is, we know that this sequence is convergent. Let us just try to use that result that the sequence is convergent. So, but we know that x, n is convergent. So, sub, if it is convergent, say converges to a point A. Say, converges to a point A. Then, by definition, for any epsilon greater than 0, for given any epsilon greater than 0, there will exist some natural number m such that my mod of xn minus this a, this point a, would be less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m. Okay. For all n greater than or equal to m. On this place of n, I am using the subscript as k because n we have already used. So I am using k on this place. It is totally fine. I have just changed from n to k. Now I want to show that my this subsequence that is x n. I think what was it? What was it? I use k over there. Ah, I use k. So I just change it again. I just change it again. Let it be p. Yes, let it be p. So n k also converges to the same point a. The same point. Now, what we know is, we know that my i is uh, less than equal to n i. Therefore, my p would be less than equal to n p. And this p over here, we know it is greater than or equal to n. Since this inequality is true for every p greater than or equal to m, 
implies me my mod is less than epsilon for all n p which are greater than equal to m. Correct. We need to understand. So this is true for every number which is greater than m, and we know that this n p s are also greater than m. This equation one holds for all x n p s. Holds for all x n p s where n p s are greater than equal to m. What does this mean? Okay, over here I should have wrote a. Right. What does this mean? This means my x n p by the definition only. This means my sequence x n p converges to a. We are done. Right. We are done. We have found a sub sequence, and that sub sequence is converges to a. Whatever we want, we just got it. Over here I am just using a change in the notation. Over here I have k. I am just using p over here. There is nothing wrong in just changing the name of it from k to p. Okay, that is fine. But it was an easy proof. What we learn is, if I have a convergent sequence, every subsequence is convergent, and that subsequence converges to the same point. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Okay.